Hi. In the last video, we have discussed about the print function and that print function is used for displaying the message on the screen. In this video, we will cover about the concatenate operator and the concatenate operator is used to put the two string or more than two strings side by side. The symbol is plus and this plus sign is used for the arithmetical operation as well as the concatenate operation. If we will use the numeric values with the plus sign, then the arithmetical operation is to be performed. And if I will use the string value, then the concatenate operation will be performed. So for example, here we have taken the first string as a Python and the second string as a language. And if we will perform the concatenate operation, then it will give the output as a Python language without giving any space because a space is also treated as a one character and we have not given any space in a language or in Python. So it will just put the Python and language side by side. In the second example, if I will try to concatenate the string with numeric values, then it will create a problem because the first is a string and the second is the numeric value. The numeric value can never be concatenated with the string until unless we will convert this numeric value into a string. So how we will convert the numeric value into a string for that Python has given one wonderful function as a str and this str is used to convert the numeric value into a string value. So here is a one example. The first is a string. Inside this string we have written Python and we are trying to concatenate the numeric value 3 with Python. So first of all we have converted this 3 integer value into a string and then this string is to be concatenated with Python and it will create it will give the output as a Python 3. Here another example, we have seen that the two string we have taken, first one is a Python and 3.8 is also a string because it is written in double quotes. So whatever the value I will write inside the double quotes that is treated as a string. So simply it will concatenate the two expression and it will give the output as Python 3.8. So let's see in the practical example. So first of all, we have taken the one string variable and inside this variable, we have written here the Python as a string and I want to concatenate the another string, suppose str1 and inside str1, we have taken the value as a language and I am trying to concatenate these two string name and str1 then another variable we have taken suppose answer and inside this answer I am trying to find the concatenate of the name as well as str1 and now print the value of answer it will give you the answer as the python language so you see both of the string has been displayed side by side Now another example we have seen that how we will concatenate. Now see another example that in this example I am trying to concatenate the numeric values. Suppose we have taken here str1 as a 20 and I am trying to concatenate this string value with the str1. And inside str1 we have taken the numeric values. So this time it will create a problem because the string cannot be concatenated with the numeric values. So it will give you a problem. Okay, so answer the error message you have seen that can only concatenate a string, not int. Okay, so first we have to convert this str1 into a string and the function name is str. 
So this 20 is now converted into a string and this string is to be concatenated with this value python. So answer will be python 20. Right? So how we will check whether the str1 is a string or number. So for that we are using a type function and the type function will return the type of the data. So simply you can write here the type and name of the variable. So name of the variable is suppose str1. So this time it will return that it is an integer class. Okay. Likewise we can also find the type of this name and this time it will print the str. So we can check what type of data we are using. So the concatenation is only possible in case of this string. Okay. So if I will write the 20 in double quotes or single quotes then what will be the type of this str1. So we have already shown that the value written inside the double quotes is treated as a string. So this time this 20 is treated as a string not the numeric values. You can check it type and then str1. So it will return the type of the str1. So this time it is treated as a string. So we can simply concatenate this str1 and name also simply write down the answer is equals to name plus str1 and it will concatenate the two string. Okay. So sorry this time we have to display the answer. So write down the print answer and it will print python 20. So we have already seen that whatever the value you are writing inside the double quotes or in single quotes that is to be treated as a string and only the string value is used for the concatenation. If we will use the numeric value for concatenate then it will create a problem. Hopefully it will be helpful for you and if you like this video then please subscribe my channel. Thank you.